Welcome back. In this section, we will be viewing what are the cloud based modules that you can take to start your career in SAP. So I'm very much excited uh, that before three years or four years, there was no cloud based option available in SAP, not not as good as now. But now we are we're having a separate slide to discuss about the cloud opportunities, which is a very good news. So what are you going to do in cloud? So what are the opportunities for you and who can take what module in cloud? So this is very simple. We have very selective set of uh, products available in the cloud and many of these products usually merges with either a technical module or a functional module. So it is there are two offerings that SAP is giving you. One is an on cloud offering and one is an on premise offering. The same SAP MM can be available in cloud also. The same ABAB is available in cloud also. So the same uh, BI is available in cloud. So we have at more uh, modules like SAP Analytics Cloud and all these things. But all these things are having a core module in an on premise version for so many years. So now, Recently, these modules have come into light because they got more popular when they've got cloud introduced along with them. Now, I'm going to pinpoint certain modules, which is evergreen module. Anyways, we'll be seeing this pattern in the top 10 uh, trending modules in SAP. But I would like to say you SAP HANA Cloud, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP S4 HANA, and SAP Room. These are some frequently heard topics in the cloud. And in addition to that, you have SAP Integration Suite, SAP Data Warehouse Cloud, SAP Internet of Things, which is an emerging market, but it is not still so popular among people because SAP Internet of Things is a happening uh, subject outside of SAP, but in SAP, there, it is still in the research level. I think it has completed uh, to some extent in the research level, but yeah, um, maybe in the near future, you can expect a lot more uh, positivity there. Now other modules like SAP Adaptive Server Enterprise, SAP Business Planning and Consolidation, SAP AI Business Services are still uh, getting to light and uh, in one year or so this would be a, a top top niche in the cloud platform. Now in addition to that you have SAP Conversational AI, SAP Robot Process Automation, SAP Extension Suite. As I told you uh, these are still in the R&D phase but an actual version is out, but it doesn't have much of the properties associated with it. So you need to wait for the, the original, the whole version to come out. So there is one, one very important model, which is SAP Data, Master Data Governance and SAP Data Intelligence, SAP Business Objects BI. So all these modules we have seen in uh, the technical module uh, and the same offering is there for the cloud as well. Now, who should take it and what is the recommendation be, um, behind this? It's very simple. These services are called as SAP uh, BTP, which is Business Technology Platform, the cloud version to the traditional SAP. That's what I have mentioned to you. So the cloud offerings are regardless of the domain. Most of the modules listed here are same as before, but you have seen a on-premise version of it. Now, what I'm sh sharing is a cloud version of it. A few modules here are interdisciplinary, yes, like SAP, RPA, SAP, AI, etc., which is very popular outside of SAP, but in SAP, it is still in the development stage. Like say, for example, a certain scope has been released, but it is not fully out for the public. Um, and they are now in the budding stage, but I can gain more importance soon. So SAP cloud offering has opened the gates for many new integrations and new possibilities, as we all know. And uh, I recommend high this high priority for taking a cloud based platform is students and professionals from a coding background because much of these things which is available here are from a coding background. So I guess like uh, we have covered almost uh, all possible modules and who can take it and what is the use of those modules till here. So we have seen like technological module, we have seen functional module, we have seen industry specific module, and now we have seen cloud based modules and who has to take it. I guess this helps uh, to choose the module. And if you have any more question, you know where to reach. 
um, I'm happy to assist you in choosing the modules. And um, with that, we'll end this session and we'll see you in the next session.